Okay, welcome back. We're going to do a little race here. A little 15 minute race. We're going to take the new Ferrari 488 Challenge Evo out uh, to Watkins Glen. And we're going to do a 15 minute race. We've upped the opponent's skill to 90% this time. Uh, we are starting 25th out of 30. Um, I'm going to keep that uh, aggressiveness, opponent aggressiveness down to 25% because, uh, you know, these cars can, they can be kind of aggressive. Uh, here's our track and weather conditions. Top of the hour. Uh, got the damage turned off. Here's, here's all that setting. The assists. There you go. Let's get underway. Starting at 5 a.m. with a 15 minute race that runs at a 48 times uh, accelerated uh, time passage. Uh, but having said that, let's let's get this thing underway. We're going to do a look at our setup here. Uh, we're going to load a setup. We have a setup for just uh, 40C uh, track temperature aggressive settings. We're going to load that, but it's set for a 10 minute race. So we're going to we're going to add some more fuel. Um, that's that's probably more than enough, right? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, they're gonna prepare the car. I've got myself just a little bit more rear downforce. I've upped the traction control just by one click, and um, I think that's it. So let's let's get the show on the road. Stay double fire. Okay, 15 minutes in the Glen. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this road on the show. Low down Stay away from curbs. Let's get some heat into these brakes and tires. Because, damn. Tire warmers, tire warmers. My kingdom for some MF and tire warmers. Alright, hopefully, because these AI are terrible heavy traffic, hopefully I'll be able to make a big dive into turn one. Gain lots of positions. But it looks like that gap is... Whoa. Oh! Oh, we made a gap by simply murdering people. Make a gap in traffic with this one easy trick called murder. Oh, and now I got pit maneuvered. That was great. Whatever, I deserve that. I'm sure. After that act of murder I just committed, someone in another Ferrari just did a GBH on me. Boy, some heat would be nice in these tires. We definitely sliding all over the place, so some heat should be uh, transferring from that surface temp to core temp in no time. Ah, nice defense, sir. Can't say I wouldn't have done the same thing. But let's try a dive bomb into the hairpin. Oh, on coldish tires. On the left. On the left. <laughs> Sheer dumb luck that I didn't murder anybody there. Got a little bit of heat in the tires. I still can't get out of that corner. Always oh, scrub the eggs of that corner. And this at least in this specific car series. But uh, I'm going to blame cold-ish cold tires on that. Pretend it wasn't my fault. I'm going to do a little self-absolution. And 
and my favorite part of Watkins Glen, the run of this hill. And in this, woof, in this series, even with a little added rear downforce, I do have to lift through the apex of both of those turns two and three. Because grip is being lost, I'm in a four-wheel slide. So you kind of have no choice. Stay on the throttle through that. And you're getting a very up-close and personal meeting with Barry R. Whoa, I forgot to shift. All right, I'm gonna try to focus on closing the ground to this pack up ahead. Should be able to gain some ground in this braking zone. Now, as this pack spreads out, they're definitely proving that they're a bit more competent than when I had their AI level set to 85 or 4 or whatever it was. So I do not think I'm going to be making my way forward in quite the dramatic fashion that I did. Oh, in my first impressions video. Man, I was so lucky not to just blast into that dude ahead of me. Cannot believe I avoided collision there. Oh, so good. So good. Even having a lift there, it feels good to get through those corners. Braked a little bit later, a little bit better there. That was that was much better. Too deep, went way too deep in there. Damn it, I screwed the pooch on that one. Yeah, no time. Oh, no time to gain to the right. Going backwards here. That is not the intended direction. Okay, we got it back. Let's see if we can hold it. Barely. Let's try to get this exit right. So easy to get wrong there. Get a little greedy on the throttle and you just push out wide of that exit. Couldn't get turned in. These things do have a fair bit of understeer. It's really hard to correct for because this this series, this car in the series, uh, has kind of a limited ability to do adjustments. There's only one click that you can make to the front uh, spring rate. It's either like all the way up or all the way down. So I just didn't even bother messing with it yet. It's not like a, a fixed setup series, obviously. But given that there's very limited um, adjustment values that you can change, it kind of feels fixed adjacent series. If you know what I mean? Fixed series meaning everybody's on the same setup. It's not that, but it's close. Alright. I feel like I've been trying to close on this P16 ahead of me 
for like an hour now. It'd be great if I could gain some ground and not immediately lose it because of a dumb mistake. Halfway through, it's about noon roughly. It's looking like it might send us in the sunset. With the time acceleration and the length of the race. Personal best is not purple. If I want to be making serious gains, I need to be purple. Every lap. And I'm not anywhere close. I feel like I'm reeling them in just a tiniest bit. There we go. We almost in spitting distance now, boys. Now I have to avoid contact as best I can. Not because I'm trying to be the cleanest racer who ever raced. Just because, in this game especially, when there's contact, you often come out just as bad or worse than the person you made contact with, so... Absolutely in your best interest to race cleanly. Even more so if you have your safety rating turned on and you're accumulating or destroying your own safety rating which affects your ability to do multiplayer and and the lobbies that you're put into but again multiplayer is not a huge concern of mine in this game I probably shifted a little bit too short there but what else So I feel like, uh, along with the tires, I am starting to warm up a touch. Made a lot of mistakes very early. Which hurt me a good bit. Well, we've come up 10 places in five and a half laps. In the grand scheme of things, that's not too terribly shabby. The car definitely feels pretty forgiving. It's just got a bit of that understeer that you kind of have to manage. Front tires are just sliding around an awful lot. Low speed, high speed, but... Probably more high speed. I think it probably lacks a little bit of front DF. Car on the left. Clear on the left. That was solid. Uh, 
the robot behind me might not feel the same. But, uh, and this is a hot take, I'm not overly concerned with the feelings of the robots. Until they gain sentient, sentience and rise and become our overlords, then we'll need to worry. But as of right now, I don't think Optimus Prime is going to do anything to us. Alright, minute and a half left. Are we on the last lap yet or no? I realize all these series that this game is based on are endurance series. But I really just wish I could set the number of laps in a race and not like have to set them by a race by time and just guess how many laps are going to happen. Just I wish they'd just give us the option to set the fixed number of laps. That'd be great. Because we are on lap eight. And there's been no announcement of the leaders on the last lap. Whoa, whoa, murder, murder. Sorry about that murder. I wasn't concentrating. I can get through that corner with more speed, but every time I try it, I go wide. Okay, I guess we were on the last lap, and I have seven liters of fuel left, so uh, I could have been a bit more efficient there. Whew, okay. P12. That was not, uh, my proudest race. Could have been worse. And here's the highlights. Look at all those cars. 30 of us. Oh, ho, ho. look at that mayhem. Man, whoever's driving that black Ferrari really should... He, he really deserves a penalty. Boom. There was that pit maneuver. <laughs> there was that instant karma. <laughs> Man. Man, what a game. What a game. So often, so broken, so frustrating. But when this game is when this game is good, it's really good. All right, I'm probably do like a like a new video for each of the cars, the new DLC cars. This one being the first one just specifically devoted to the new Ferrari 488 challenge. Um, but at any rate, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. We'll do we'll do some more just short videos on these like this. 
where I've had a little bit more time to to practice and not quite so raw and terrible as my first impressions video goes. Catch you in the next one.